Welcome back, boys, to another FIFA 23 content review on the channel. I'm Slater, and in today's video, we have the brand new Footies Premium Call of Duty Cool Bali SBC. I will open the 85 by 10 to kick us off here to start this video because why not, man? It's summertime vibes. EA are kind of being stingy and scammy a little bit. Went on a big rant yesterday. I'm not going to go on as much of a rant today. Don't worry. Although we are desperately in need of more content for Footies. Uh, and we have the 80 plus player pick, which we saw the 81 yesterday, which was, I think, you and I both know. A disaster so they came back out with this player pick which is obviously way better so a lot to dive into today let's figure out if you should or should not complete call to kolobali but first let's dive into 85 by 10. if you want to just jump to call to kolobali or the a plus player pick or the objective content today you can fast forward i chapter out every single video every single time to make it easier for you to watch and i review the content every single day so if you like those two things hit that like button man sub new helps me greatly let's dive into today so 85 by 10 to kick us off now, I know a lot of people are pissed about this SPC too because it takes multiple segments, so you can't technically auto-regrind it the way that we know and well. What I will say is, and you'll figure this out before I will because I'm recording this live, it does say it's resetting in 20 minutes. I did these both yesterday, so I'm guessing maybe you can every day at Content Drop potentially snake in two of these and then wait for the reset again and then snake in two more a day. So that that's kind of a little bit of a move to look out for. Maybe you can get four of these done in a day instead of two. If you have your club kind of ready to go every day at content, you can snipe two of these in and then get two more on the back end. So that's kind of cool. I would think about that potentially. Or their timer's messed up, which is probably more likely because every single day EA make a mistake. So it's uh, it's uh it wouldn't be surprising if that was the reality of what's happening. But that's something to look out for that you'll probably notice after you watch this video. 85 by 10 or to kick us off. Yesterday, we opened... I think seven of these or eight of these on the stream last night um, through people's accounts and my accounts too. And I want to say that we got one footies card. So they were not really hitting last night, unfortunately for us. Um, obviously, I'd love to know if you guys have packed any big footy cards or big um, team of the year icon cards or stuff like that. I've had some good stuff. I did pack Griezmann in 84 by 10 um, two days ago. So that was pretty big uh, for me. But hopefully we can get something huge here. Be fun to show you guys something cool on the front of the video. It's footies. Please. German Roycey. Bang, baby! Hey, shout out to Gatorade and Tradiac, two massive Dortmund fans from the channel. Yo, Roycey, baby! Hey, I ask and you receive. They say that sometimes, you know? We want something cool for the video. You love that. A Roycey. Come on, baby. Come on. I love freaking Marco Royce. What a legendary player in real life. What a cool player. I don't know how anyone could not like Marco Royce. And then what a like legendary FIFA player, man, uh, Marco Royces. That is a sweet card um, that I will happily add to my squad. There's And I got Joshua Kimmich in the pack, which just seems like a beautiful little Bundesliga vibe. And I got a Sebe and Sommer. There's a, there was something working in the uh, in the pack juju there. A uh, Marquito Royce, baby. Nice. Hey, we've had some big moments on these videos. We packed Vinny Tots on one of these videos. We packed Cruyff. Um, Prime Cruyff on one of these videos during the course of the year. When you open a pack for these every single day, you get something cool eventually, and we did there. So Oblock and Kimmy as well on the back end, which is really nice too. I'll probably put them into an SBC, so W there as well. Okay, hell yeah. Great start to the day. Hopefully you get something great too, man. I hope you guys enjoy watching these. Hopefully you guys get some good pack luck too as well. Then we have Kaladu Kula Papa Kula Bali. Okay, who is transferred to the Saudi League, right? But he's a premium footy card, so it doesn't really matter. He's going to get you full chem. And maybe, just maybe, if you're someone who has Sui, you know, Al Nasser Sui, or maybe you have, like, yeah, the footy Sui, right? This is all of a sudden another... These Those two can combine together. I don't really know who else you would use in the Saudi League. Maybe Romario or Taliska that are, like, not premium cards. But nonetheless, there's a Call of Duty with five-star weak foot, medium high, six foot two. I really like Koulibaly as a center back in this game. His body type is insane. He's a stocky fridge, but he can also move. And now he gets a boosted card with 90 short pass, 85 long pass, 95 uh, sprint speed, 86 acceleration, 99 reactions, 99 composure, which is exactly what you want in the center back. The two most important um, dribbling stats for ACB, if you didn't know that. Defending and physical stats are fantastic. 99 strength, 98 aggression. I mean, looks like an absolute demon of a center back. He really does. Um, power header and giant throwing on the card. I'm going to guess that because it's a center back and it's a solid league center back, I'm going to guess an 86 and an 87 is my guess. 83 rated squad with a team of the week or two of season 87. I would have thought that EA would have tried to scam you a little bit, but no, that seems really fair. That really, really does seem really fair. I mean, you could literally open an 85 by 10 and then get yourself cool Bali for free on the back end. It's actually an 87 and, and an 83 uh, versus an 86 and 84. Now, granted, you do need both team leagues, team of seasons, and both SBCs. You could argue you're very similar in price point at this point in the game. So would you rather do an 85 by 10 or would you rather do Kula, Call of Duty Kula Bali? And that's kind of more where you need to line out in terms of what you prefer. 
Obviously, 8 5 and 10 is more fun, but maybe you actually want a really good player and a sure thing, and he would certainly fit the bill here. Um, so that's a really nice SVC from EA that you can craft for what you're doing. Probably multiple 8 5 by 10s a day, you can just snake in and call it a cooler Bali and call it a night. Um, in terms of what I'd put on him, I'd definitely put a shadow on him, make it easy. Uh, max sprint speed, way better acceleration, perfect defending, easy breezy. Um, compared to his, uh, let's go see, compared to his honorable mention card, he gets six more pace, five more shooting, five more passing, seven more drilling, four more defending, and six more physical. He also, more importantly, has five-star weak foot, and he has full chemistry. So full chem, five-star weak foot, center back with crazy good stats, with a shadow, looks like a brilliant SBC, GGCA there. Don't overthink it. He'd be a great center back for you if you need a new one in your team. I think he's also very fairly priced, um, especially considering that he's probably, just to give you an idea um, of how good a value this is, I, helped, I think these guys help you guys a lot because they help me a lot too. Is he probably go look at like a Joe Gomez, who's not a premium card, so he does not get out of full cam. He needs to be put into a team. He's 800,000 more coins in this card, and he has three more pace, two more dribbling, the same defending and physical stats um, with more passing. They both have five star weak foot. Gomez is better, but is he 800,000 coins better in August? Absolutely not. And with that being said, it shows you Kapala Dukulabali is a very solid value SBC. Then we have the 80 plus player pick, which thank goodness we have something else. We still need more. We need 80 double upgrades. We need something. We need that like. Um, shapeshifter um, objective content where you were crafting any double upgrades. I said this yesterday's video. We need something fun. Packs are really fun to open during footies. Uh, player picks are also fun, but they go very quickly. We need both. We need things that can help you get gold cards, get you uh, mid-tier fodder, and then if you want to put that into other SBCs, alongside player picks. So I think EA are really missing uh, the mark here in footies week two. Um, all of footies, um, for the most part. They started hot with this week two, but I think the upgrade day was such a letdown that it's kind of been tough to give them the benefit of the doubt. But we do have 80 plus player picks, one of four uh, rare golds, 80 overall rated. Um, they are exactly a gold card in the team. And you need 10 of them. So think about the fact that you need 11 golds um, and an 80 overall team for an 81 plus player pick, one of four. And then for an 80 plus player pick, you can use one less and just the common golds on the bottom of your club. Just shows you how bad a value those 81 plus player picks are. And I think these should even be cheaper. Honestly, I really don't even think that this is necessarily great value. I think you should be like six players at this point in the year. I think they're asking for way too much already. Um, but it, comparatively to what it, yesterday was, this is better at least. We're moving in a right direction, but we're still nowhere near where we need to be, in my opinion, um, EA, in terms of the content here on the back end of the year. Like, reward your fan base. Like, who, 90% of the people, no, nah, not really, a lot of us are addicted. But a lot of people have stopped playing FIFA, right? A lot of people are over FIFA, a lot of people hop on, they make their 285 by 10s and they hop off. Um, why not reward the people that want to still grind the game, still, you know, maybe I'm crazy for still wanting to play the game, but why not reward the people that do want to still play the game, still want to get involved, still want to be involved in the game, still want to play the game with really fantastic, grindable, fun content? We've had better content upgrade grinds earlier in the year than we do right now at the back end of FIFA. That does not make sense. This should really be the most leisurely time to play this game. They should give us everything. They should really give us everything, and they're not. That kind of stinks. Uh, next up, sorry for the mini rant, Foot Champions Bonus 2. Um, is here. These have all been really great. They're actually getting easier and easier, I think, as every week goes, which is really nice. There is no, like, off league that you have to use this time around. You can use six Brazilians in a squad and win four champions. Finals games, so foot champs games, not qualification games. You unlock an 85 by 5 do it again with French players, 85 by 5 and then 85 by 10 if you get all the interme uh, intermediary um, content done in between. And a 400 XP bonus on top of an 85 by 10 for the group reward. So really, really easy and great content there. I love this stuff, uh, but we need more. Yeah, we need more and we need more friendly content and we need you to chill out because it's the chill time of the year in FIFA. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're back again with another one of these beauties again tomorrow. Peace.